Yo guys, it's been a minute since I recorded the video, but here we are. We're doing a icons, icons, all icons that I've used on Fever Twenty Three. Uh, I'm gonna list them S, like God tier, A, which is great, B is like all right, C is like questionable, D, straight poo. So Gerard's not meant to go. I don't know what's going. But we've got all the ones that I've ever played with in draft or a bought now this ruby costa here just to let you know uh the one just here is meant to be the cover star one uh but i couldn't find the png for it but you can just imagine right we're just going to start straight from the top we're going to go you save your i'm going to go oh yeah i don't think white s tier but he is a great striker it's going to be all depends on when they came out as well. And like longevity wise, you know, all that sort of stuff. Gerard, I'm going to see. I just think he wasn't great. Are you Sabio? I'm going to go A2, but he's definitely be he's below this one. But he was, he was all right for me. He's a loyal servant. I've still got him in the club now because he's got over 200 games or something. He was replaceable. Ferdinand, your straight poo. One of the worst centre backs that I've used. Grincher. I like he's dribbling. But I think it's because I packed him too late into the game. To use him. Maybe early game he was nuts. So maybe it's an unfair judgment. But he's going in questionable. Who so? Whoa, that's from there. Straight poo. Awful card. Gerard was okay at the time when he used it. Ollit goes god tier. Had him since real. Early beginnings, got almost 700 games for the club. So many goal contributions. Even now, he gets into my main team. He's that good. He's that good. He holds up with a five-star weak foot. He's just fucking brilliant. Um, Henri. He's going questionable. I'm not keen on Henri. I must admit. Garzinho. It's God tier. It's better than you, Sabio. I love this card. So fun to use. I did the SBC. Maybe if I'd done it early, it'd be even better. I was tempted to put him in A, but I think he's bottom S tier. It is Kaka. He's fun. He's too expensive for starters. Going B. He's fine. He's fine. He's just nothing special. Roy Keane goes. Is that harsh? No, it's not harsh. I think he goes straight poo. I didn't like him. Closer, not as bad as people think. I'm going to put him in C. Uh, I'm actually going to put him above Henri because he bagged more than Henri. Um, but I don't think he's great. I used him in the draft and he was... Uh, Komen. I can't remember if I used him in the draft. I don't remember using... I definitely remember using him. He's actually not... Uh, he was... I, I might be a little bit harsh. Lam was fine. Lampard goes with the same. Gerard, to be honest. They're both similar sort of players. I'd maybe say Lampard's a little bit worse. Uh, Lineker. Let's be honest, everyone did that SBC with straight fodder. It was like an 84 rated team, fucking 90 at the time, which was a bargain. Um, I used it for a game in his ass. Right, Ego. I'm kind of split. I'm putting him in B. I think he's at, he is a good card. But maybe I just don't use him right. Maybe it's a skill issue. I just don't think he's insane. But he's a fun card nonetheless. Maybe if you'd have five star skills, he'd be up in eight here, but not. Makalele, I'm just a bit um and nine about whether to put him in this category or this. I want to put him here because when I first bought him, he was really good. And then I bought him and I packed him up and tradable like a couple, like a month later, maybe, after I sold him before. Wasn't the same player. I just. Uh, him and Kanta, I don't think this sort of role really works too well this FIFA. I think a tall and defensive mid swap really is meta. Because I used Kante and he was worse. I did not like that foot birthday one which cost like 1.8 mil which is just a ridiculous price. Uh, Maldini goes in S tier, no question. Uh, he goes there. Mateus used him in the draft. He was very good. I put him high A. And maybe I haven't used him enough to put him S tier. I'm sure he is S tier for some people. Prime Baggio. He was cheap, but I think he's fine. 
Like, he's underrated as an icon on this game. John Barnes is okay. I bought him for a bit of fun. Um, nothing special. Becker. The price, he's not worth it. I've got him untradeable. He's a very good center. You know what? Nah, that's harsh. I'm putting him very low eye. He could go B. George Best goes high eye. I think he's underrated legend as well. Like, he's just always so cheap. Oh, he can't, isn't it? So I'm not legend. Um, Very cheap for how good he is. And even his dribbling on the prime is still nice now. He'd want that foot birthday one. But that's still a nice card. If anything lets him down his four star skill moves at this point. Uh, Butcher Grano, bottom of C. I didn't like this card, I can't lie. It wasn't terrible. His finishing wasn't like immaculate. The I think it's three star skill moves is shit. And he just was so weak. I've never seen a player so weak on the ball. Uh, Cafu goes, uh, there. Loyal servant to my club. A fantastic right back, one of the best right backs in the game. Oh, Campbell wasn't that bad. I'm gonna put him B, very low B. Uh, this card, I haven't given this one enough of a run out. I've used it. I have a Cafu, I didn't give him enough of a run out, so I used him at center back for a while and he was decent. I think I'm gonna go like there. I think that's fair for him. Maybe could, yeah, let's put it above Kaka actually. We've got a Carlos is S tier. A, a great value SPC still. Even though he is expensive, it's very good. You can play him anywhere. And he just looks trippy, isn't he? And he's 5 star, 5 star, high, high. Great stats. Just 90 across the board, I think. Xeos is straight poo. Check. Controversial. He's nothing special for me. People rave about this card. And he was just mid. Mid. Like. Fucking hat tax, man. I don't think he's all that. Correct me if I'm wrong. There will be people that correct me if I'm wrong. There will be wrong. There's some people that love him and he's still in their teams now. Boring as well. Like, I like a fun striker. Ashley Cole. Actually really solid. Bottom of A. For the price of like, he's a really good left back. I'm not sure how well he so holds up now at the 81 physical. But I think you can still use him. Uh, Cruyff goes in... S tier. And longevity for the club. He's still he's on the bench now. But I bring him on a lot. He's just fun. So fun. His problem is that lets him down now late game. It's his pace and shooting. That's why is and his dribbling. Like everything lets him down in terms of now. But they are still nice across the board and, and even then it felt higher than what it was. Like his dribbling is ridiculous. So I want dribbling is crazy. His pace, with a Hunter on him, it's fine. And same with his shooting, to be honest. You put a Hunter on this card, it's still a good card. His finesse shots are ridiculous. His Prevella shots are crazy. And it's just 5-star, 5-star. And at the point in the game, I packed him. He was broken. Right, we move on to Prime Dalgleish. It's actually good. Dalgleish is actually good. I'm not going to put him any higher. But, because I think there's better versions. And I'm gonna go with the better versions. This card gets into a low eye. And for some reason, don't ask me why, this 89 performed better than the 92. I'm gonna put him there. I was playing probably lower divisions at the time. It was on a like a Road to Glory account that I did. Um, but this card carried me. It was so ridiculous. Uh, Del Piero is fun actually. I actually. Quite enjoy him. Not an A tier, but he's like uh SIE foot birthday. It's a good card. I didn't take it in the pick or uh, the season pick, I remember. Uh but he's a good card. He's a good card. Let's put him there. Nah, he's better than that. Let's put him there. No, let's put him here. I haven't really been ordering all that much. SIE, this card stunk a bit, I can't lie. It's a bit better than Butra. But not as good as Kobe, I think that's fair. Essie and Trophy Titan. He goes bottom B. He's just proper standard. Proper standard. Eto again. I think he's questionable. Not key on this card. I had other strike like Cruyff. Ridiculous compared to him. Eto just didn't cut it for me. 
And maybe because I had someone like Cruyff in the team, never really got a look in. So that's why he's there. Gerd Muller. He is an SDS right. When I used him at the time, my God, he was so broken. His dribbling felt better than what it was. Rap is shoot everything that he shot went in. Whenever he had a shot, he went in at that time. It was so nuts. That card is like, it, it's one of my favorite cards of the year. I really like it. I'd submit it now, yes, but it was, it was so fun at the time. Right, Bobby Moore. Actually a usable card for once, but it is going... Uh, uh, nowadays, it's crap. But... Right, Nesta. Going questionable. He's below these two, I think. I Them stats are really... Really not 100% true. I'm not keen on that card. Really not keen on it. Right, 98 Pelo using the draft. It's bonkers, but it is bottom of S. Here it is. I think this card's sick. And I just don't get it. He was fine. But he was definitely top of C. Puskas again. A little bit better than Perez. But, like, that SP2 is expensive. I did it thinking, oh my, this card's going to be so broken. Scored, like, I don't know. It was not a good scoring record for Puskas. It was just. I don't know what was wrong with him. I don't know. I was playing with straight ass. I'm going to put Roy Key. Uh, uh, no, let's put Gattuso to the bottom. There we go. That's, that's fair. Raul. Questionable. I of fun for a little bit. Roy card. Up a B. Actually quite fun. Rikalme again. I could go into A. A to, you know. I think this card's really good. It's going low eye. I haven't used it enough. But it is a good card for how cheap it was. Did he? Foul though. Two things around it. He could go bottom of eye. Or he could go top of B. I think he goes top of B. He was so nuts at the start of the game. Not at the start of the game. When he first came out, sorry. Like the first weekend league, I was like, oh my god. This guy is the next thing. Like, this guy's staying in my team forever. And then weeks after that... He just went missing. And then he'd come back for a, a weekend and pop off. If he kept up what he did in that first foot champs, he'd be up here. He was so broken. It was the time when like the, the, the lower powered shots when you just tap the shoot button and it's going all the time. I think it was that sort of time where he was broken. Rondinho. Just because of the price. It's still a cheap SBC. Because if I was on the market, that'd be 15 million coins. But instead, it was like five when it came out. Probably a little bit less now. Uh, it is a bit expensive and time consuming. But for the player he is, it's pick. I'm only saying these two are above just because of for my club. They have played over a thousand games between them. They're incredible. But he is. Oh, you need to do it if you haven't done it already. Or at least get the loan. You have to get the loan. R9. I'm here. I don't think he's... Oh, I'm not mad on it. Nah, nah. That's harsh. That is harsh. He did bang. Rooney. That is questionable. Yeah, that was a questionable stint at the club. But Bertha, I haven't tried, and I really want to cover Star Icon, but it's just so expensive, and I've got so many good strikers, I just don't see myself doing it. All right, cover Star, Rui Costa. For the price, it's an S tier. No, an A tier. It's bottom of A. Uh, it's there. So it's a good, SB, good value SBC. Five star, five star. Super fun in game. Goals I haven't used enough, really. But from Stars... He's okay. I think he goes like. I think it's fair to put him there. Brian Steiger. He was sick for a week or two. And then it just. He became a slug. And it was like, this guy's unusable now. That's 75 pace. I think he gets bumpy. Yeah, it's like a week or two is good. Socrates. Yeah. 
This guy is always cheap every year. And honestly, this guy has like 300 games for me. I finally submitted him. It broke my heart. But my God, this guy, for his agility and balance to be so low, his dribbling's not, his shooting is crazy. He's like, his strides are crazy, so he feels rapid. He's excellent pickup for like a, a mid, early mid game player. It's crazy how good he is. And like to win headers in the midfield like he does. Broken. This card up there i'm gonna put it like here i think for a good value spc it's crazy they crazy loads but them stats don't lie he's a very good player not quite the level of someone i'd rather pick croy still i think he's crazy considering the stats but yeah I, I, it's all right it's just not a fun building game almost but he does get the job done uh this socrates card is next level i'm gonna put him there stoichkov ah, that's fun Torres. you know what i've said i've used this card and i have but i don't remember it i'll put it closer but closer gets ahead because the surprise aspect of how good he was Prime Torres, <coughs> good for a week, then not great. If he goes, yeah, next to the normal one, the Trevor Titan, sorry. Suka. At the start of the game, I bought this card, and it was actually really good. And it's such an underrated icon. I'm going to put him there, because he was that good for a little bit. Bullets, obviously. A bit overpriced all year. I'll put him here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Van Basten was ass. Annoying because I love Van Basten in real life. I love him on... I've loved him on FIFAs before. This year was not the one. Up a push. Van der Sar gets a low S for me. All goalkeepers are a little bit dog arts. Van Percy, I did this SPC thinking it was going to be crazy. It doesn't belong there. Vidic, oh, he's a high A tier. I think he was above George Best. He's a really good defender. I've only just submitted him. A little bit boring now. But my god, he was really good for a long period of time and. One of my centre backs of the year. Yara. I think it's best centre mids now. I think this card's still overpriced. And that SVC is ridiculously expensive. But still not a bad card, so I can't put it in C. Ian Wright was voodoo. Yashin. But Ogrin shows questionable. He is. But the, uh, Honeyville used this card, 94 rated. You would have thought this card would be like the best goalkeeper. Like, it's higher rated than Van der Sar. He's, and he's still like 400k. And for me, just letting fucking everything in. And then make a few good saves. In fact, because he made a few good saves, I'll put him above Puskas. Uh, Zambra Prime. Solid card, actually. That SBC was, I think, a good SBC. I'll put it low B. I don't think it's anything too crazy, but uh, we've got the shapeshifters one as well. Again, I think I just put it like here, just because when this came out, it was like, "Whoa, this is sick!" And then the that that for me, Zambro was a turning point for centre mids. Everyone else got really good as well, so he didn't stay in the squad for very long at all. He could have been better and fought for his place a bit more, but he was lost in the subs bench. Zanetti. Nah, what am I doing? That's really good. A solid car. I'm putting it there. Especially if you put it in like CDM in game. It's really good. There's a Dan. I've hated playing against him more than I played with him. Uh, but I'll put him in S. Yeah. 
Uh, this card belongs up here, along with Sakura. Uh, 85 rate to start of the game. Best, eight, I've said it before in the video, the best 85 rated player on the game. It is in, he's so broken at the start because his stats are just, the stats that you need, he's got like 90 pace, 91 dribbling, 85 shooting. That's already better than an 85 rated card. The 82 passing, which isn't terrible for the start of the game anyway, he will bag you goals. It's always fun. And then this card as well, it's the best cam on the game for me. It goes along with Maldini. Not quite as good as though, just, well, this this one just has my heart, but this one is the best cam in the game. And that is everything. That is the full list. That is, uh, I think, a fair judgment on anyone. If you disagree with me and think this person's insane while you put him here, obviously it's just my opinion, but let me know in the comments. I want to know. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Just watching.